Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we're going to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 161. And we are on page number 94. We are dealing with the topic of units of measurements. How to convert units from metric system to English system and vice versa. In the event that you are interested in getting some more practice, getting better, better prepared for the T's, and if you are interested in solving the problems that appeared in the previous edition, the fifth edition, I don't have the book in front of me right now. I don't have the book with me for right now. But you will find that we have solved every single problem that appeared in the previous edition and you will find the solutions to all of them from day 1 through 80. Let's get going. When we talk about units of measurements, when we talk about units of measurements, as far as the T's is concerned, we really don't have to know a lot. There are, there are three broad category, categories that we need to worry about. First of, first of those three categories is the distance. Then we have weights and then we have volume. We're going to talk about the problems dealing with distance today. In the next video, we'll talk about we'll deal with the problems dealing with weights. And the video after that, 163, we'll talk we'll deal with the problems dealing with volume. That's the idea. So as far as the distance is concerned, we do not have to know a lot, just basic things. For example, and this is something when I say we have to know, I mean we have to know. We have to know by heart the conversion rates. You don't have to, precision is not required, you don't have to know the precise conversion rates. It's a multiple choice exams for crying out loud. As long as you can get the approximate answer, you can figure out, you can recognize what the right answer is. Do you understand? For example, one inch is approximately two and a half centimeter. That's good enough. That's good enough for the exam. One yard, one yard, you just have to remember, is approximately nine tenth of a meter. Nine tenth of a meter. Why nine tenth of a meter? When you say a yard is a yard is not quite a meter, it's something less than a meter, that tells us that the meter must be longer. A meter is longer. One meter, one meter is approximately 39 inches. And we all know that a yard is made up of 36 inches. So one meter is one yard and three inches, because it's 30, 39 inches, not 36 inches. Let's keep going. And finally, the last thing we need to understand is that one mile it's approximately 1.6 kilometers and that's it that's all we need to know as far as the exam is concerned that's all we need to know about the distances let's do some problems shall we here's the first one the first problem we're being asked to convert five yards into meters five yards equal how many meters well we just learned we just learned that one yard we just learned that one yard is nine tenth of a meter we just learned it is nine tenth of a meter. So we're not interested in one yard. We are interested in we are interested in five yards. We want five yards. Well, that's very simple. Multiply both sides of the equation by five, and we are done. Now we have five yards here. And if it makes it easier for you to see this five, you can view this as five over one. If it makes it easier, you don't have to do it. We're not babies, but if it makes it easier for you. So we got 5 on the top, we got 10 in the bottom, let's divide top and bottom by 5. 5 is going to go away and 10 becomes 2 and that's it, we are done. It's 9 halves of a meter, 9 halves is 4.5 meters. In other words, 5 yards is approximately 4.5 meters. That's it, we are done. You don't have to make a fuss about it. I should say equal to, it's not exactly equal to, it's approximately equal to, same here. 5 yards is approximately 4.5 meters. Let's do one more. Next question is, should I continue down here or should I do up here? Let's do it up here. I'm going to erase it and we're going to do the second one. Second question is, so that's it. We're done with this one. It's four and a half. Four and a half. Second question is, we're being asked to convert we're being asked to we're being asked to find out how many how many mi how 15 miles make how many kilometers in the exam they're not going to say approximately they're going to say exactly 
question is 15 miles is how many kilometers? Well, let's find out, shall we? Well, that's from here. We just learned that one mile is 1.6 kilometers. One mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. But we're not interested in one mile, we're interested in 15 miles. So you can either multiply both sides by 15 and be done with it, or if you like, multiply both sides by 10. So multiply both sides by 10. So now we have 10 miles, 10 miles approximately equals 1.6 times 10, which is 16 kilometers. Again, we're not interested in 10 miles, we want 5 miles. Well, we want 15 miles rather. So if we know that 10 miles equals 16 kilometers, that implies if 10 miles equals 16 kilometers, then 5 miles, 5 miles must equal half of that, 8 kilometers. That's it, we're done. 10 plus 5 is 15, just add them up. So 15 miles approximately equals 16 plus 16 plus 8, 16 plus 10 would have been 26, so it's 24 kilometers. That's all there is. Don't have to fuss about it. Or as I said before, if you didn't like if you didn't like going about this way, let's see if I can find a different color. If we didn't like going about this way, then since we're being asked for 15 miles, we could have multiplied both sides by 15 from the very beginning. We could have multiplied both sides by 15 from the very beginning. And we could have figured out what is 1.6 times 15, which is which is something we could have also done. We could have also done that. Let's do it, let's do it on the bottom. 1.6 times 15. So instead of 1.6, let's just Let's just do 16 times 15. 5, 6 fives are 30, 0, carry 3, 5 ones are 5 plus 3 is 8, hold the unit digit, 1 times 16 is just going to be 16. 0, 8 plus 6 is 24, or 14 rather, 4, carry 1 and 2. And then you insert your decimal place, decimal place is here, 1.6, so we need to move the decimal place by one spot, decimal place is right now here, we move it one spot, it becomes 24, which is exactly what we found. But that's too babyish. But you can do it any way you like, okay? Let's do one more, number three. In question number three, we're being asked to figure out 12 centimeters equal approximately how many inches? Equals how many inches? Even if they don't say the word approximately, just approximate it and then pick the answer choice that comes closest to your answer. There's only going to be one answer choice that, come, that is going to co come close to your answer if you did the per work properly. The answers are always uh, put far apart enough so that, so that you don't, so that uh, there is no need to do the actual precise calculation. Do you understand? They always give the answers far enough apart to obviate the, the precise calculation when did we learn this word? it's going to bother me now they always give us answers that are far enough apart to obviate the precise calculation oh I'm at P here it's still P Just give me one second, okay? Just be patient. So there we go, day 52. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in vocabulary words, day 52, and you'll learn the word. Number four. Oh, number three. We haven't done number three yet. 12 centimeter is equal to how many inches? Let's see what we can do. Which information are we going to use? Where do we need to go to convert inches into centimeters? That's right here, inches into centimeters. So we know, we know that one inch, this is what we know, one inch equals 12, two and a half. One inch is approximately two and a half centimeters. Are you with me? You stay with me in this story, okay? It's important that you stay with me in this story. Multiply both sides by 10. If we multiply both sides by 10, what do we find on, on the left hand side? On the left hand side, we have 10 inches. We have 10 inches. And that tells us that 10 inches is approximately 10 times 2 and a half. 
10 times 2 and a half is 25 centimeters. You with me so far? And how do I know that 10 times 10 times 2 and a half is 25 centimeters? Well, that's again very simple if you like. You can do it in two steps if you like. We know 2 times 10 is 20, 2 tens are 20, and if we have 10 halves, 10 halves are 5. 10 halves are 5. 10 twos are 20, 10 twos. If you have 10 twos, uh, 1, 2, or other 2, that's 4, 2 twos are 4, 3 twos are 6, 4 twos are 8, 5 twos are 10, and 10 twos are 20. So if you have 10 twos, 10 twos and 10 halves, 10 halves are 5. 10 halves are 5 for half, 2 halves are 1, 4 halves, 4 halves are 2, 6 halves are 3, 8 halves are eight, 4, and 10 halves are 5. If you have 10 halves, that's it. But we're still not done, because we're not, uh, we're not being asked to convert 25, in, 25 centimeter into inches, we're being asked to convert 12 and a half centimeters. What do we do next? Well, we, not, we don't want 25, the 25 is too much. Let's take half of it. Divide both sides by 2. If you divide both sides by 2, 2 is going to cancel out with this 10 becomes a 5 and that tells us that 5 inch is approximately half of 25. We know half of 24 is 12, half of 24 is 12, therefore half of 25 is 12 and a half centimeter. But we don't want 12 and a half centimeter, we want 12 centimeter. But that's, that's good enough, that's it, that's precise enough. You can say, you can say that 5 inches is approximately 12 inches, uh, 12 centimeters. Nobody's going to come, nobody's going to come to arrest you, do you understand? You're not going to hear a knock in the middle of the night uh, to, uh, because there are people at the door to come to get you because you told them that uh, 5 inches is approximately 12 centimeters. It is, 5 inches is approximately 12 centimeters or 5 inches are approximately 12 and a half centimeters, it doesn't really matter. You will be able to locate the right answer. You will be able to locate the right answer. Let's do the next one, number four. Number four. Number four says, how many inches are there? How many inches are there in five meters? Five meters equals how many inches? Well, where is that information? Well, we know one meter, right here, one meter we are told, one meter we are told is 39 inches. So let's, let's use that information, shall we? We know that one meter is about 39 inches. We're not interested in one, one meter, we want five meters. Well, that's very simple. If you want five meters, just multiply both sides of the equation by five. Five times one is five meters. Let me erase this thing here. One times five, five times one is five, so we have our five meters that we want it, which is approximately equal to 39 times five. Let's do it out, 39 times five. Actually, you don't actually have to do it out. You just have to understand that 39 times five, I'm going to write it, see if you understand. 39 times five is the same as 40 times five minus a five. Did you understand it? 40 times, if I, if I have 40 fives, if I have 45 and if I take away one from, one five from it, if I have 45 and if I take away one five from it, then I'll end up with 39 fives. Why did I do it like this? Why did, why did this thing come to my mind? Because we know 45s are 200. Because 40, how do I know that? Because 40 times 10, 40 times 10 is 400. If 40 times 10 is 400, then 40 times 5 must be 200. So it's 200 minus 5, 195. 5 meters is approximately 195 inches. And if you don't like what I just did here, then just do it out. It only takes a minute. 39 times 5. 9 fives are 45. 5, carry 4. 3 fives are 15 plus 4. 15 plus 4 is 19. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.